Hey there guys, it's Metro, and we got hot fixes. <laughs> this is something that got brought up yesterday on the Q&A, and then less than a couple hours after it, apparently. I don't even know when this got published. Uh, I went to bed not knowing it existed, and then I woke up, people were talking about it. So, let's go ahead. This I've never even looked at this before. Uh, I just saw the first one or two, and we're going to give my blind... I won't. It won't be able to be blind, because I won't be able to read it. Huh, I never, I don't know how people do that. But anyway, uh, yeah, the first time I've ever read these. Let's take a look. Uh, oh, yeah, so well, maybe there's other ones too, I don't know. But some some change to marksmanship if you're stupid enough to be playing that. Uh, Grievous uh, should no longer stack to two on the first periodic. So I guess that has been a bug for a while. Uh, they nerfed Grievous, but it was still causing problems with that even after the changes. So I guess that was a bug. I, maybe it was intended, but either way, it's fixed. Increased damage of busting to 7% per tick was 5%, which is funny because there was a lot of talk about them nerfing busting. The previous week was busting, so uh, a lot of talk about that being like they nerfed it, and I don't know if that's true or not, but regardless, uh, now they've buffed it, so we'll see how that goes. I think it'll be a while before busting returns. A tall Dazar removed infested from several stationary enemies in the instance. That's a good thing, I think. Uh, that's uh, assumingly talking about the totems. I don't know what other stationary enemies, quote unquote, there are in the instance, but um, unless they're, yeah, unless I'm misunderstanding the wording there, I think they're talking about removing the totems, which I'm fine with. I think uh, the totems being infested was like a fun little flavor thing, but I don't know. It doesn't matter. Infested's over in like a month. Um, King's Rest. Adjusted spawns of teeming in the instance immediately before and after the Golden Serpent. After the Golden Serpent. Immediately after the Golden Serpent. Well, immediately after the Golden Serpent is the the gauntlet, right? So is that what they're talking about? But either way, te when I hear teeming King's Rest, I, I think not after, like, I think that hallway leading to the third boss area is ridiculous. Uh, if you saw the video I made on it a while back, uh, hopefully that's what they're talking about. Because if not, that dungeon is still a mess with teeming. But yeah. Uh, anyway, animated Guardians... Released inhibitors only increase melee haste. Okay, so what you're gonna see is a lot of tweaks like this. Uh, I don't, yeah, sure. Okay, thanks. Animated guardian no longer doing range taste, I guess. All right, so that's good. So it's a lot of tweaks like that, from what I can tell. A uh, lowered duration on King Akul's hidden blade to four seconds was eight seconds. So again, just you know, just a tweak makes makes the, the this stuff easier. This is the the one of the mobs in the gauntlet. Okay. Continent, quote unquote, like you know, the, the room, the area where they all come out. Lowered embalming fluid dot duration to six seconds. That's a great one. Uh, you know, another one that just gets really punishing, gets out of control. Lowered golden serpents animated gold health by 75%. Okay, so that's seemingly the ads that he spawns, right? I guess it has to be animated gold. Is that actually the name of the mobs? Lowered gold serpents, their, their health by 75%. Very, very, very interesting because one of the big problems with that dungeon is it's just so not worthwhile to kill them. Like so much DPS wasted on running over and killing those things. So if they can get killed by say one player, you know, one range can do it. Well, that's a lot better. And uh, if that's the case, then I really like that. That is a really nice change. A lowered guard captain, Atu's Axe Barrage. That's another one of the mobs in the gauntlet room, I believe. At least I'm pretty sure. Axe Barrage, that's one of the, the three, right? The one where you can grip, you can interrupt, and then the Axe Barrage. So that's good. Queen Pitla's Dark Shot changed. It now takes 1.5 seconds to land. Oh, that's cool. So that's the, the purple stuff that lands on the ground, I guess, that's on the ground. If that's the case, another, you know, it's just a, another tweak, another makes, it's basically the whole thing here is making trash, uh, you know, non-bosses, I guess, especially easier. But, you know, we did see some boss changes. Uh, reduce Spectral Berserker severing blade damage by 25%. There you go. I think it was Seismical. He just, uh, he just brought it up in the chat. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, Silence. Silence, silence brought it up. Um... Yeah, so the Berserkers, you know, we talked about this in the previous video as well. They're called Berserkers, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Like they're not they're not a, they're not to be a little a little mob that you can just walk over and not care about, but yeah, I, you know, I guess they did do a lot of damage, so that's uh it's probably good. Oh, wait, what? Is that a joke? Maybe it was bugged in in the first place, huh? That it cuz you don't know those undocumented changes how many of them were intended, right? So, I don't know. Spectral Berserker is now level 120 and it's susceptible to crowd control. 
and Seneschal Mbara. Mbara is now level 120. Who who is that? Is that one of the mobs in the gauntlet? You could you could CC one of the named mobs in the gauntlet. That's interesting. Very interesting. Let me know. Uh, but yeah, so they basically nerfed this. The well, they made the berserkers CCable again, and they nerfed them. <laughs> so there you go. All the guys fucking crying. They're like, "Why the fuck would you make this harder? It's already the hardest dungeon." <laughs> There you go. Oh, man, that's funny. Anyway, Motherload, adjusted spawns of teaming in the instance. That, that'll that be interesting to see because the, the bosses all, like, are preceded immediately by very, very, very difficult trash. And on teaming, it's just all of that trash is harder. Like, literally every pack of it is doubled. Like, at least four, 40 to 50% more mobs, at least, in every single one of the packs right before the boss. So that's good. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. I don't know when they say adjusted spawns, though. Do they mean, like, are, are they removing teaming mobs? Or are they just putting them somewhere else? So I guess we'll find out. A reduced venture company mastermind leech globule healing by 50%. This is something that I saw on the beta all the time. These mobs would just heal the full. I really haven't paid much attention to it recently, but I guess they still probably do. Like, if, if you pull those in a pack of other dangerous mobs, like even the pack right before the third boss, it's like, well, you're not going to be able to stop them from healing. So you don't even target them until they're the last things. So I guess that, you know, that's a good thing. Anyway, increased feckless, what the, what the hell is a feckless assistant trans transfiguration serum recast to 20 seconds was 10 seconds. Okay. So yeah, another one of the mechanics that you really need to interrupt on the trash and mother load. So now I guess it'll be easier to, per, to to deal with it less frequently, I guess. A reduced weapon tester's echo blade damage by 50. That did seem like it was a bit much. It did seem like out of all the mechanics on trash in there, it did a lot of damage. So that's nice. Reduced damage to venture company. Oh, there we go. Whew, that's the big one there, man. That, that rock lands rips me off open man if i don't have ams if i'm not getting time death strikes you gotta interrupt that rock lance it's still dangerous 25 percent is nothing to, to to sneeze at but still gonna do a lot of damage a reduced recast of earth shapers earth shield to 20 seconds great another good change another thing that just really you gotta interrupt but you can't afford to interrupt because of the rock lance you know a w uh, wanton's sappers cast final blast at 10 percent health was at 20 was well, that a nerf then I don't, I don't really understand. Like, the final blast thing, it seems like a good thing. People always complain about it, but it's like the mob kills itself at 20%. That's a good thing, right? So I don't know if that's a buff or a nerf, but regardless, it's a change. Sethralis, increased recast of healing wave cast by... Wait, increased recast of healing wave cast by charged dust devils to 16 seconds was 10 seconds. So this is just another one of those things where it's like... They're not going to cast as often. Healing Wave. I think that's early mobs, right? Charge Dust Devil, though. That doesn't... I think that's one of the early mobs on the way to the first boss still. Healing Wave. I mean, that's a Shaman ability. So is that going to affect Shamans, too? We'll have to find out. A reduced duration of Sand Sweat Marksman Neurotoxin to four seconds. That's another good one. That, that was actually really potent. Uh, very, very potent uh, magic damage, uh, especially as non-DK is hard to deal with. Faithless Tender's Greater Heal is now single target, as of course it should be. It's called Greater Heal. It's not Chain Heal. It's not Circle of Healing or whatever. Uh, reduced melee damage of Faithless Construct by 70%. So again, just massive, you know, just they're retuning a lot of this trash. And I think I think rightfully so. Uh, this is going to, overall, I can already tell, this is going to make um, teaming four to five weeks a lot easier. Increased respawn of Faithless Conscripts to 50 seconds was 60 seconds. Increased respawn of Faithless Conscript. Oh, is this this? Wait, hold on a second. Wait a second. Now I know what we're talking about. Faithless Conscripts. These are the little snakes. These are the non-elite snakes in the snake pit, right? Now, now I realize. So that makes sense. Um, so obviously, what I said before is not entirely uh, relevant, but regardless, um, yeah. So that that must be the case. So that's good. That's a very good change. That snake pit sucks. I would have liked to have seen here Faithless Conscripts no longer apply necrotic. But that's not going to happen because that's intended. Uh, lower damage of the temples, uh, temple attendants wash away by twenty five percent. Good, that's those like blue swirls that come up on some of the trash after the, after the second boss, I believe. Maybe, maybe it happens early in the dungeon too. But yeah, very dangerous mechanic. Actually, yeah, it's it's all over the dungeon. Wash away no longer hits pets and guardians. That's good. So so druids, big buffs for druid here. This is going to be real nice then for no, I'm just kidding. Uh, rune carver scorns carved flesh. Initial damage reduced by seventy five percent. Okay, that's cool. So that's like a re um, 
a retune of it, right? It's going to make – that's card flash ability. You're supposed to stand in the, like, gray protective circle, grayish greenish protective circle. Uh, you're going to stand in that and reduce a massive amount of the damage. But sometimes it's difficult. If you're farther away, you're not 100% ready for the mechanic. You might get killed in the first global, in the first tick of it on a higher key. Well, now that is over, I guess, because the first tick is going to do very little, but it's going to increase over time. So by the second tick, if you're not in there, you might die still. Increased recast – because, like, actually 75% is how much it's reduced by when you're standing in the thing. So it would basically be the first tick is, is like, if you're in the thing. And then after that, it's going to be even worse. Like, you've reduced even worse. Uh, increasing Increased recast on Drowned Deathbringer's Rip Mind to 16 seconds. So just another one of those things, casting less frequently. Uh, this is good. I mean, I'll, I didn't realize that this was such a problem in Mythic Plus Dungeons. Like... I expect trash to have mechanics that you need to interrupt and stun, but I guess they're casting it so frequently that it makes it impossible to do that. So that these are good. These are good. Removed infested from the living current before Aquasir. The living current before Aquasir. Is that those little the little blobs on the ground right in front of them? It's interesting. If that's the case, that's smart because that could really cause problems while you're ready to fight the boss. Siege of Borlas. Let's take a look. Reduced damage of Black Tar Bomber's Burning Tar initial damage. By 50% and firebomb by 25%. Excellent. Adjusted spawns of teeming and infested in the instance. Again, when they say adjusted, what do they mean? I don't know. So we will find out together, I suppose. But teeming and infested in, in Siege of Brawls. I don't know. I mean, I did teeming in there this week. It didn't seem... Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I, oh, you know what? There's Yeah, I guess there's a couple weird packs. But yeah, for the most part, it's not really a big problem. Increased cast time of Ashrain Commander's Bolstering Shout to 5 seconds. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So it just make, makes it a much longer cast. Huh. Okay. That's kind of cool. See that? I think I would prefer that. Like these changes here where, you know, where they're like making it cast less frequently. I would rather, rather make them longer cast so they're, you know, it's more. Well, I don't know. Either way, it's fine, I guess. But I would rather actually interrupt them. I'd rather them happen often and interrupt them properly than just them not happen. But. Uh, anyway, um, reduce to doll black break. Wait, no, no, no. We just talked about this on the video on Wednesday, and now they again uh, nerfed it. People said break water. I didn't know what the name of the mechanic was at the time. Looking back, uh, that's the wave mechanic. Oh no, no, no. Maybe it's not. Okay, so maybe that was a different mechanic. Break water. Maybe is this the the one that like he puts on the ground and then yeah, it is. I think yes. He it's the mechanic that he puts on the ground and then. Uh, after it like it coalesces for a second or two, it um it like smashes everybody. It does physical damage, or I guess it's probably frost damage. It does frost damage to everyone. So if that's the case, then that's good because that that sucks. On a high like fortified or on a high um tyrannical key, it does a lot of damage. So that's a good one. That's a good one. Reduce range on the bilge rat demolisher's terrifying roar to ten yards. Was thirty yards. Bilge Rat Demolisher. Oh, that's the uh, the big dude. The big, the Eden looking dude with the big club, right? Looks like Harry's mates IRL. Added a precast visual. Interesting. Well, that's good. Uh, so that's, so you can actually just outrange it now. You don't even have, that's really odd, actually. That's kind of strange. Usually we've been line of sighting. You use the house, kind of like, whoop, around the corner. Whoop, whoop, around the corner. You know what I mean? But you can't, you can't really do that in some spots. It's not ideal. So you can literally just run away from it. That's kind of odd. But whatever, it's fine. Told Dagor, uh, the Sand Queen's buzzing drone no longer melees, but casts Itchy Bite much more frequently. Itchy Bite. Ooh, that doesn't sound good, man. Ugh, that just makes me get get the... Oh, I don't even want to think about that. But anyway, yeah, that's good. That was really shitty on Necrotic, so this is a, a very... If it actually no longer melees and this doesn't apply Necrotic, based on, you know, I don't know how it works, but that's a great... Great change. Makes that first boss actually doable in the Chronic Weeks. Ashen Vein, Ash Vein Marines, Suppression Fire, Initial Damage Removed, but Periodic Damage immediately deals damage. So that's like the big fire cone that people are always like, lol, you gotta move it away from the group, dude. Because they can't be asked moving themselves. But regardless, that's good. I guess now they won't have to worry about moving. Uh, Overseer Corgus, Incendiary Rounds, No Longer Stack. Now, I wonder if this is the mechanical issue we had last week. If you guys watched the stream last week, uh, the boss was actually hitting people with them so frequently. Is that how you spell incendiary? Anyway, um, people were getting hit with it frequently enough that it was re like it was adding a second stack. 
Now, I, I, on top of that, there was some debate in the group that they weren't getting hit by it that frequently. We were hitting each other with it, even though the people were vehemently denying this. So I wonder if that means now if two people stand on top of each other with it, it won't stack anyway. I don't know how it works, but you guys will know. Uh, heavy cannons, cannon blast damage should now scale with the keystone level of the dungeon. Why did it not do a lot of damage? I can imagine that. It was probably one of those things that nobody ever got hit by. Heavy cannons, cannon blast. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. This I thought we were still talking about it on Corgus. But this is the... Uh, yes, this is this is what... Um, I think it was Tagor brought it up in the, the, the Discord there. This is the actual cannon that you jump in and you go... Pew! Pew! You go like... You know, like... You, you guys know. So, yeah, you shoot it at the mobs and it was dealing like zero damage, especially, I guess, the higher the key, it did less. So, so that's good. So, that means that it's actually worth using now, I guess. I, I don't, I guess it wasn't before, but now it is. Uh, the Underrot, increased recast of Devout Blood Priest abilities. So, that's good. All of those abilities are a pain in the ass. <laughs> like, constantly, every one of those mobs, uh, those Devout Blood Priests, they have to be interrupted constantly. So, that's a good thing, I guess. Reduce fanatical headhunter barb spear duration to four seconds. That's just a dot, I think, so that's good. Uh, reduce duration of war cry to eight seconds. Was thirty? Wow. Okay. So that's the the mothers, uh, the big fat women. Don't like no no offense if you're like a big fat woman. No, hey, no, nothing against you, but if you're a troll, if you're a blood elf or a blood troll, sorry, if you're a blood troll in under, I have no remorse. Like you can you can get out of there, get a real job. Uh, so that's good, you know, to make that less effective is good. Uh, Elder Lexa will now only. Are you fucking serious? This is like the biggest change on here for sure. Elder Lexa will now only spawn one blood mirror clone hype i mean like is that the biggest change that they could have made that's really that's nuts so that fight just got a lot easier that that fight was like the hardest fight in the game though for real like it's the only fight in mythic plus dungeons that actually had a, like an enrage timer if you didn't kill it within what a minute or whatever it would be you could not there was like you're not completing that fight even on like a 12 like you know even on like a middle key like you would die so Anyway, Death Touch Slaver is now susceptible to stuns. Susceptible. <laughs> Waycrest Manor. Anyway, this is Waycrest Manor. I don't know exactly what the slavers are, but yeah, anything that's susceptible to stun, I like it, so that's good. Madden Survival's Freezing Trap is now magic. So that's on the bottom right side. When you enter, you go right often. Uh, it's one of the worst ways. Freezing Trap is now dispellable, so that's nice. I, I didn't know it wasn't, to be honest, so that's good. And then apparently some, some changes elsewhere. Let's take a look. Uh, we could just check. I don't think these are going to be related, but fixed a bug. Oh, yeah, so apparently Fetid Devourer was, like, running or walking. Some, like, RPers were upset. I don't know. Uh, Island Expeditions uh, resolved an issue in Jorindal. Okay, never saw that. Uh, items. Players are now able to purchase the... Oh, wow, okay. So this is in already... Using and applying the... So if you guys didn't see this on the Q&A, this has nothing to do with dungeons, but it's kind of cool. Using and applying a potion will allow players to be able to understand the opposite faction. That is pretty freaking cool, to be honest. Like, that's something that probably should have been in the game in Classic. I don't know what the hell it took so long, but what else? Oh, this is a bug, I guess. Yeah, the Horde one was always 395, but I guess the Alliance one was 380 for some reason, so that's nice. A uh, scouting map should again show up on the Honorbound. Right, they always have. Um, fix an issue where Cloak of Restless Tribes was not scaling. Okay, who cares? All right, so that's everything, ma'am. What is this? It's raining mana. It's now raining additional mana. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, and then some changes from the previous week. All right, so that's everything, man. What do we think? I think, you know, a lot of people are uh, going to be happy with these. I'm going to say this right now. A lot of the, the people... Like, when I made that, first of all, I made that video on Wednesday. I was extremely ill. Like, I'm still ill, but that was, like, I shouldn't, I have, like, 100 feet rush. I may, should not be making videos. But I just love the community and love the game too much to ignore it. So, yeah, uh, I did not expect anything differently. Let me put it that way, okay? People coming in, like, insulting the video, like, insulting me, insulting my opinions, you're just proving that you don't care about competition. Like you're, you're just proving that you're not there for the right reasons, and that's fine. I'm not. I'm not gonna judge you, but let's put it this way: when Blizzard has a design in mind and the game doesn't fill up to that design, when people circumvent the design in some way, whether it's an exploit, whether you want to call it a, a clever, you know, it's it's 
what they call a, a DPS skill cap, like whatever, whatever the, the term, the f- fancy words you want to use to make yourself sound better at the game than you really are. You want to use those words, that's fine. I don't care. It doesn't matter. You know, this is what you do when you're a competitor. I completely understand. You want to be the best you can be, you're going to take every advantage possible. And that's fine, man. That's fine. Whether that's, you know, resetting dungeons, doing all this nonsense, whatever. You, whatever you want to do, do it. But when Blizzard fixes those, right, things that... You know, somebody who would see clearly, whether or not that's me or you, I don't care. Somebody who would be seeing the the, the, the situation clearly would say that that was not how they designed it. Not intentionally like that. When they fix that, and then you're like, oh, that was stupid. They're idiots. They don't know what they're doing. It's like, wow, man. Are you talking about me being confused? Like, wow, that is hard to hard to swallow. It really is. But whatever. I understand. You know, people are, uh, you know, they think they're better than they are. They're pseudo, pseudo elitists, as we talked about in a video last week. They want to be better than they are, and they, they try, but... You know, the the changes make it harder for that. And that's that's what Blizzard wants, man. They don't want this stuff that, you know what I mean? You got to spend time on this stuff. You got to be the best you can be. So hopefully everybody's understanding that. But these changes are, I think, going to be universally received well. Like, I don't know about this busting change. Some of these other changes, I don't know if they're nerfs or buffs realistically. But I do think uh, pretty much universally trash has been made easier. I mean, look at this. Every single change just makes trash easier. So that's great. And this one, especially, I guess people were really miffed about. I don't know. I never really understood it. A mob is obviously clearly there to kill the tank. And it was not killing the tank because you could literally just CC it. So whatever. That's fine. Uh, I'm happy about these changes because it's going to make everybody do more Mythic Plus dungeons. Even the you know the level 4s, level 40s, they're all going to be better off. The trash is a problem in a lot of times, especially with certain affixes. So will this make... Fortified easier. I don't really know. Uh, I think it's going to make it a little bit easier, but not. It's going to change anything really substantially. So, anyway, that's everything. Uh, again, didn't expect to see this this week, but thanks for watching. And uh, hey, you know what? We'll see you guys in the next one. So.